So today we're going to be talking about how you can get started VTubing with your very own avatar. Before we really dive into this, uh, there's three different kinds of virtual content creators that you're going to see out there. There's going to be PNG tubers, which just use a still image. There are live 2D streamers. And then there are 3D VTubers like myself. Whatever you want to do um, is up to you. And personally, I believe that none of them are better than the other because what matters most is the core of your content, your personality, you yourself and how you use it. Don't get stuck on wanting to go one way or the other way. Just choose whatever you think suits you the best. We're going to be talking about 3D models. Now, before we even get started, whether you're going to be making a model from scratch, you're going to be getting someone else to make a model for you, or you're going to be getting your model somewhere else. One very important thing to remember is copyrights and rights. Even if your model is made from scratch, it doesn't necessarily mean you have the rights to it. If you want to see this conversation in more depth, I actually did a YouTube video on it that covers it fairly well over here. You can see it. It should be like a little icon that pops up there. So we're going to talk about a couple different ways of getting your 3D model. And I'm going to show you how you can get started with some applications. The most expensive and prohibitive way to get a 3D model um, made for you to whatever you want is by commissioning a 3D artist. Commissioning a, a 3D artist to make you a VTubing model can cost anywhere from $400 US to over $4,000 US, depending on what you need, who you're commissioning, a bunch of other factors that I'm, I'm not really going to get to into this video. If you are looking for a 3D artist, basically the best place to find them is on Twitter. So that leaves you with uh, a couple other options. There's pre-bought models and then there's Vroid models. So we're going to be talking about both of those methods today. Uh, I've already did like a quick overview video on buying your first booth model. These booth models usually cost anywhere from usually around $50. So when you go to the booth.pm website, you're going to be greeted to this part right here. And you can go to the categories and 3D model section. And then here in the 3D model section, you can browse for a bunch of different models. So here you see some models for around $30. We see some models for $50. And here we have a model that's $80. So prices may vary, but we're going to be looking at this model because this is actually a model that I own myself and I personally recommend, even though it is one of the more expensive ones. What I really like about it is that it comes with a very wide feature set. And additionally, what's really nice about this model is that there's a lot of community made outfits that you can buy for it as well. If you ever want to change your outfit and you want to be able to have it done very easily. So the biggest problem that a lot of people might have is that sometimes the terms of use might not be in English. Sometimes though, there will be terms of use in English and you'll see right here is that the terms of use of this model is very important to read is that this one allows for personal commercial use. So basically, if you are going to be streaming on YouTube or Twitch or Facebook or Trovo or making videos, uh, you are using it for commercial use. And this model allows you to do commercial use. If the model doesn't allow you to have commercial use, basically just you can't use it. If the store page doesn't have an English translation, I would recommend just right clicking like I did here and go to translate to English. And then you can see the permissions right there. So then all you got to do is buy the model and just go through the normal process and you'll have your first model. Now, let's say you didn't want to buy your model, but you wanted to be able to make your own model. Well, that's very easy to do. So I'm also going to leave the link for this in the video description as well, but we're going to be going to Vroid Studio. Vroid Studio has a lot of great base models that you can start from or that you can just start using right away. But it's also super, super powerful and easy for most people to be able to just get open the application and get started by making something. So what you're going to do is you can download it for free from either Steam, Windows or on Mac. Now, one thing I'm going to say that there's a big misconception with Vroid models and VRM models. 
So VRM models are a VTubing avatar format, like a 3D model format. Uh, Vroid models are models made with Vroid software that just so happen to be VRM models. A another way to put it is that all Vroid models are VRM, but not all VRM models are Vroid. So for example, the model that I'm using right now is a VRM model, but it's not a Vroid model. So go ahead and download and install it. So make sure you download the latest version and go ahead and open it. And it's going to bring you an installer just like this and just click through it to let it install. And then go ahead and launch it. So I do recommend reading the terms of use policy, but basically for the most part, as long as you're creating your own original work, you're safe to use it on stream. As long as you are abiding by the terms of service of the platform that you're streaming on. So you have a two different kind of choices. Personally, I'm just going to skip. Once it gets started, you can click on new and you get a choice of making two different model bases. If you want a feminine model or a more masculine model. So we're going to go with a feminine style model. And then in the center, you're going to see your model base. You can actually uh, control the camera around just by using the middle mouse to move your avatar around like this. And if you right, hold down, right click, it'll allow you to rotate it like this. And that's how you can be able to get like all the angles. And then if you scroll, zoom in, you can also zoom in and zoom out. So what's really nice about new Vroid is that you'll have access to a lot of presets just like this. And these are things that you can also customize on the side as well. Super, super easy to make really, really high quality models now. It's almost basically like the same experience that you'll get with a character creator. So I super, super recommend basically anyone who's wanting a custom model to try to start out with Vroid Studio. So we're just going to go, we're going to do this very quickly. Um, we're not going to spend too much time customizing the face, but as you can see, there's a bunch of different things that you can customize here. Like you can change some of the eyes. You have access to all these different, different sets as well. And even some of the eyebrows you can customize. So there's like a lot of neat things that you can do with Vroid Studio now that makes it really, really accessible for new people. Now we can also do the same thing with some hairstyles. So like this and go for pigtails. And then you can also change what the front of the hair looks like, what the back of the hair looks like. Oh, we want to keep it more like that because she has short pigtails. And then some of the extensions, we can choose the kind of ponytails that we want. So we want like these little pom poms like this. And there's so much different customizations that you could do. You can also make some modifications to the body. Oh, and then also in the hair, you'll also have the ability if you wanted to, to add custom and you can actually easily paint on the custom parts of the hair. We're not going to be covering that in this part of the video, but we will cover it in a future video. Um, if we get enough comments on it, but it, it's pretty straightforward when you press the plus sign, it's basically like you click and drag to create hair strands. Next, we can go to the body and you can choose from presets once again, or you can just um, change it with the slider settings, just like here. You make it like big head, small head, head width. You can even increase the chest size, decrease it. You can change the position so it's like not as awkward. You can change the arm length. There's a lot of cool different things that you can do. And then there's also a lot of preset outfits that you can use that you can have access to right here. And if you want to customize it, you can also have the option to change the different tops if you wanted to mix and match like this. Or you can also change the pants. So if I wanted, let's say longer pants, I could do that as well. And then you can also change the shoes. If you want to change up the shoes, I like the shoes that they had. 
You can also change the soil size, how short or tall it is. There's a lot of things that you can do, but additionally, what's really cool is, like I said, this is not something we're gonna dive in right here because this is just more of an introductory thing, is that you can easily make your own custom clothing within the application itself. And that's something that we're probably gonna cover in a future topic. So you can also add accessories, like let's say glasses, like here, they're pretty simple. They have two presets, thin glasses, thick glasses. So we're gonna add some thin glasses, just like this. And then here you can actually change some of the glasses things, like we can make them bigger, change the shape of them. Let's zoom in a bit so we can get a better look. You can also change the color of the glasses. You can even change the shape of them. Wow, you can make them thicker or thinner. We're gonna go with glasses like this. But there's a lot of different things that you can change here. Super, super nice. And here you can change some of the other things like how intense some of the shading is gonna look, the rim light, the shading, how soft and hard or hard it'll be, how much it's shaded and things like that. But these parts, I, I would say you wouldn't need to worry about too much. So once you finish customizing your model in Vroid Studio, all you have to do is go to this little export button right here and export as a VRM. So here we're gonna be greeted with some of the information. We can see how many polygons, how many materials, and how many bones. These are things that you don't really need to worry about too much right now. So for the most part, most of the settings that you see here, they're fine, they'll work. So you can go ahead and export it. And um, all you gotta do is name it. So we're gonna call this tutorial avatar made by me, Fofamit. And uh, you can optionally fill out these other things as well. And then also licenses, if you're gonna be distributing it to anyone else. But in this case, I'm gonna be using it for myself only. So um, I'm not gonna be worrying about filling out this information. And we're gonna go ahead and export it. And we can choose where we wanna export it. I'm gonna export it to my desktop. And that's pretty much it. So you can go ahead and you can save your project so that you don't lose any of your settings. And we're just gonna call this one tutorial avatar. And I'm just gonna save that on my desktop. And now that it's saved, we can go ahead and um, we can exit out of Vroid Studio. And here we see our VRM model. One thing to note is that if you got your model from Booth, some Booth stores have VRM models already pre-made for you, whereas um, other ones will just be an FBX model and you'll actually have to convert them to a VRM model. If you're looking for a really good tutorial on how to convert a model to VRM, you can see this video that's gonna be appearing right here. Also, if you're looking for some recommendations on VTubing software to get you started, and uh, we're gonna be covering that in a future topic, but if you check out some of my other videos on my YouTube channel, you're going to see a bunch of different recommendations for a bunch of different VTuber software. Thank you for tuning in for this part of the tutorial series, and I hope you have a great day. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe because once we hit 50,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a video tour of my entire setup. Bye bye.